Hi, here is a quick guide to VSO Video Converter, the new video conversion tool by VSO Software. This program will let you take any video file, any video format that you may have on your PC, your phone, your camcorder, and it will convert it to a wide range of available formats to, so that you can play them on any device. Uh, if you want to play your videos on your TV, on your PC, on your tablet or smartphone or video console, this program will offer all these output formats and it's an only-one tool. You don't need any other program for your video conversion needs. It's a very easy software to use and I'll show you exactly how it works. So basically load your file, that's it, and choose your output format right up here. As I said a wide range available, a lot of um, formats and profiles depending on your needs, AVI, MP4, DVD, um, MKV of course. Uh, okay, let's, let's, uh, f let's convert to iPad. Here we here we go. Basically, you could click on start right now and that would be it. Uh, the conversion would start automatically and that's it. You have nothing else to do. It's, an, it's a one-click conversion program, very easy to use. But obviously, for more advanced users, we have a wide range of uh, options available. Uh, let's have a look at them now. So click here to access the uh, video editor. Uh, you have the, the screen here is the video preview where you can play your file and make sure uh, it's synchronized and check all the editing you will do on the video. Let's have a look. That's it. So any edition you will do on the video will be shown live in this player. Okay, underneath here you have the uh, video timeline with the video and uh, the audio track and you can add a, a subtitle track if needed. I'll show you later how it works. Uh, okay, let's take the video track, click on it, select it by click on it, and here you have the uh, the edition window that opens. So the first one is the brightness, contrast, saturation window, and check the preview here. Any changes are shown live, as I told you. So it's a very precise tool makes you uh, customize the, the, the file just the way you want it. Okay, next option here is uh, it indicates the, um, the quality of the final uh, conversion. Uh, if your project is too heavy, then it will be in the orange or red color and you don't want that. So make sure you stay in the green. Um, second, uh, last thing here is the um, sizing of the screen of the uh, output screen if you want to if you have a tv for instance and you want a 169 or four third um, video screen that's where you choose these settings and you can even add black bars and really uh, set the size to whatever you want and also if, if you have um, a video from your smartphone uh, most of the time they are upside down so here you can rotate the image and See, it's shown live again. Okay. Next is the cut option. So if you want to get rid of any any um, little part of the video, if you have uh, trailers or advertisement within the video you want to get rid of, it's very easy. You put the cursor where you want to start, as I just did, and click on Start Cut to um, select the start of the cut. And then, once you're happy with your selection, Again, use the video preview to get a precise result. Then you click on Validate Cut. And this part in red will be taken off from the conversion. OK, you can remove the cut. Let's do this. Right, uh, on to the chapters now. Um, only the DVD and the NKV formats will allow for chapters. So since we're doing the iPad format, there are, will be no chapters in the video. OK, let's move on now to the audio track. So click on it, and again, the editing window is open. So here you can um, add some volume to the, uh, to the file if it's uh, not loud enough for you. And also here, the time of offset is a good, um, good option if you have a desynchronization between the uh, video and the audio. So you can add or remove a few milliseconds. And again, play the preview, make sure the, um, the synchronization is good. 
Okay, now let's move on to the subtitles. If you want to add a subtitle file, this is where you do it here at the bottom. Click on the T for text and go select your subtitle file. It will load automatically. Uh, again, with the uh, iPad and AVI and other formats, you can only add one uh, track, one subtitle track, and it will be embedded into the video. If you use the DVD output, then you can add uh, more t uh, audio and subtitle files, and you'll be able to select them with the uh, DVD player remote control. Okay, so click on the uh, subtitle file here, select it, this window opens, and here you can change the um, the font, or the color, and the size of uh, of the subtitles. Again, check the result. Check that you're happy. It's yeah, yeah. And that's it for the subtitles. Um, if you want to merge a file and ha get you know stick two files together and make sure you get only one file at the end. This is where you do it, here on the right. Click there to add another video. So it's, it, it, and it will be converted as one single file. Okay? So once you're happy with all your edition, don't forget to save and close. And we're back to the main window. And now you're ready to start your conversion. Uh, a few more settings that I can show you that are interesting. If you if you've decided to do some uh, conversion into in DVD, DVD is a special format that will let you do more things than other formats. Uh, for instance, you can add a menu, a menu template, or choose a few different templates. We have a few available, and there are uh, uh, the playback options as well for the for the DVD. Another thing you can do is burn your conversion to DVD disc and make sure. The, the, the format you choose will be playable on a DVD player, if, if that's what you want to do. So we advise to, uh, to convert to DVD format if you want to play your file on a TV. Uh, so you click here on Burn Project After Conversion, and right after the conversion you have a pop-up window asking you to insert a DVD, and the burning will start automatically. Right, so that's it for video converter. It's a very easy tool and it's an all-in-one tool so basically you really do not need any other uh, software for all your conversion needs. Okay, bye-bye.